Hello, my... <laughs> Hello is the least, most unnatural thing you can ever say. My name is Emilio Tobias, and this is my fourth attempt at doing a vlog. I haven't released any of those episodes, but if you're seeing this, this means this is vlog number one. I'm Emilio Tobias, and I'm what you would call an up-and-coming stand-up comedian. That means whatever it means to whoever it means, what it means something to. But uh, I am up and coming. I am not famous by any stretch of the imagination. But hopefully one day I'll get there. Uh, what I want this vlog to be, I want to just take everyone on a trip and see what it's like to become a comedian. Everyone think it's glitz and glamour. I can show you what is what and what's happening and what's the thing and how difficult it is. And... Hopefully you see my journey of becoming an overnight success and how long that really takes. Um, I actually have a full-time day job. And it's not that I'm doing comedy part-time. I have two full-time jobs. People think because I have a day job that makes comedy part-time. I'm doing comedy full-time. I'm doing uh, 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 my day job full-time. So... This vlog will just explore that, what it's like to be an upcoming stand-up comedian, what the hustle is like, and what you have to do to make things happen. I just got from work. Uh, I got about half an hour, sometimes maximum an hour, to chill, to change, to relax, and enjoy a bit of freedom before I have to leave and go to a gig again. Uh, it is January, so this is one of the first gigs of the year. And it's weird because it's like most of the comedy gigs haven't started. Most of the big shows haven't started. So we've been doing one gig, one gig a week, which is very little. On average, I think I do about four or five gigs a week. Let me say four. Let me not, let me not force. I'm not, I'm not pushing that hard. That's the last thing I wanted. Bye. Right, I want to be desired. Hey, it's nice because it's summer. I'm leaving for a gig and the sun is still out. There's still children playing in the street. That's nice. This thing is heavy. I'm running late, but the sun is out. But I'll get there in time. But I need to rush. Tonight is a uh, sort of opening night for the year at uh, Melville Comedy Club and it's an interesting lineup because we're having a 20 in 5. 20 in 5 for those of us who might not know is uh, I believe is the invention of uh, Goliath and Goliath. We have 20 different comedians, newcomers, medium and headliners all coming together and each getting 5 minutes in no particular order. The reason why a lineup like that is interesting is because I think an audience gets to see like a range of comedy, a range of styles, and a range of experience levels. A 20 in 5 is such a big opportunity because what uh, we used to do when we started out because we got, weren't getting on lineups at certain venues and stuff. So you know that if you show up at, at a show where there's a 20 and 5, some people are going to show up late. If you show up early enough, you might get to draw a number and be on that lineup. But then that's not a time to play. There's a time to show people that like, other than the 20 and 5, I should be playing at this venue. So back in the day, that's what we used to do. We used to show up early. We used to put our hands in a basket to draw a number and do whatever. Got in the lineup. And destroy it you have to destroy a few times before you get respect out of anyone but like there was a great opportunity for the big guys to see what you are made of sometimes I'm not my good man I'm going to shoot you 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 Sure, good man. One Guys, that's Melville for you. Few streets down on the first of January, people got killed here. Comedy sometimes will take you to dangerous places. That's why January is still cool. 
because it's still light. But sometimes the places we go, the times we leave, Ola, we leave very late. There was Melville Comedy Club, there was a good night. I couldn't show you all my jokes. You almost still come to the shows. But it's time to leave now. I don't know if you can see me in the dark, or you probably can. Uh, and then the car guards mustn't see me. They mustn't see me, they mustn't see me. They're coming. Where's the name? Okay, that was a dope night of comedy. Bong here, go back when I came here. I gave you last time. It's we back uh, on now. Yeah, relax, bro. I find that. I find that. Uh, New success. Uh, for Friday. Uh, uh, but I gave you last time, bro. Mugmigil, mugmigil. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So, I see you quite a bit. Chap. This niggas. It's nice when the when the car guards know you. It's nice when they know you. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know if this is it, but uh, it was a good night of comedy. It was a great way to start the year or to end of January because it's like my fourth gig for the year so far. But now my Apple Comedy Club is open and uh, this is what I want to do. I want to show you all a night out. Sometimes it's going to be a bit more interesting. Sometimes I'm going to be driving a bit further. Sometimes it's going to be a bit more dangerous. And uh, hopefully along the way, we make, we make some memories. Memories. Thank you guys for watching. Um, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Don't forget to leave a comment Don't forget to hit like Or just tell me if you saw something that you didn't know uh, I didn't show you that much in the first episode But But In episodes to come, slowly you You'll catch my drift Peace